before calculating a free cash flow, we need to understand what a free cash flow is. Well, first of all, it's going to be cash flows generated by the enterprise value part of your business. And those cash flows are free from the impact of financing decisions or they're unlevered. So we're not looking at cash flows after interest, we're looking at cash flows before interest. There's been no financing issues involved in these cash flows. Another way to look at free cash flows is the cash flow available to pay all providers of finance, debt and equity, after satisfying all investment requirements. By investment requirements, we mean things like buying property, plant and equipment, so capital expenditure, by investing in inventory, those kind of things. So it's the cash that's available after buying all those things that could be returned to your debt holders as interest or debt repayments, or to shareholders as dividends maybe. So these cash flows are generated by the operational business. That's your enterprise value. They are your operating profits after tax. Remember, taxes have to be paid. So that has to be gotten rid of before we can start returning cash flows to our finances. The term to refer to this is NOPAT, net operating profit after taxes, or EBIAT, earnings before interest but after taxes. At the start of our forecast free cash flow calculation, we have EBIT, so that's our operating profit adjusted for any non recurring items. But from that EBIT, we then subtract off tax on EBIT. Now, that's not the same as your tax expense. We want to take EBIT and then multiply that by the long run tax rate, your effective tax rate. That gets you to NOPAT, your net operating profits after tax, or EBIAT. We then say, is that really the cash flow from the business? Well, no. We've included depreciation and amortization so far, so we need to add that back and instead subtract off real cash flows that have gone into the operations of the business. So CapEx is a great example. We've invested in the operations of the business by buying things like property, plant and equipment. We also need to subtract any increases in operating working capital or add any decreases and also look at any other changes in other operating assets or liabilities. Once we've gotten rid of all of those cash flows, we have finally gotten through to the free cash flow, cash flow produced by operations and which could be returned to our financiers.